All right, let's see what our panel has to say about this. Peter, stick around with us, and we will bring back in our A-list. That's Leslie Sanchez, Regina Calcaterra, James Peterson, and Peter Johnson, Jr. Leslie, I want to start with you. You are a Republican strategist. A lot of politics is about image making. What sure. do you think Oprah should do now? Well, you know, and I used to run the president's office on Hispanic education. I will say that. Uh, one thing, I don't know about in a, in a, in a, in a deniability on this, but I think what's important, there will be tremendous scrutiny as to the types of screening that these individuals had prior to working at this academy. And I do think it's exactly. important that Oprah Winfrey came out strongly, vehemently showing that there's a no tolerance effort with respect to any of this type of behavior. But the most important thing that will probably get lost is it's a very noble effort that she started with these children. You cannot deny that. And I think she remains firm and committed to having the good, strongest, safe, secure, a dormitory in school for these children, she can win out. It's important for all parents to know that. Absolutely. And James, you know, when she announced this school in South Africa, it seemed almost utopian. She was going to be providing books and education and, and room right. and board to these underprivileged girls. I, but you thought possibly recipe for disaster. Why? Well, because it's so far away, I think it's difficult for her to protect her brand over there in South Africa. And it's ironic because, you know, she kind of scoffed at people who criticized her for not doing the school here. And then you do the school in South Africa and you run into the same problems that we have with schools here with sexual abuse. There's no escaping some of these problems. And obviously it points to a bigger issue in our school systems here and around the world that young people are vulnerable to teachers. And unfortunately, some teachers take those things for granted. So I, I, I would commend Oprah on confronting this head on. And I would also probably add here that now that they've made an arrest she probably will allow it to enter into the conversation on her program because well, she's made some significant progress here sure and we'll see about that but meanwhile Peter um, you know she wasn't there when the abuse happened is she legally liable at all for no that? she's not legally liable and, and morally and in a business sense she has stepped up to the plate and really hit it out of the park right. she knows uh, as a matter of business sense that she can't be associated with exploitation of anyone including children but in a moral sense I think she's been back or forth two or three times and obviously she's been a victim of abuse in her own uh, past she understands the importance of making a strong statement a universal statement about the conduct that goes forward here you know that she's been all over the south african authorities making sure that anyone that's been involved with this sure. is going to serve jail time because she needs to set an example here um, at, at this school if she doesn't her career could be over that's not going to happen i think she's done a great job Okay, thanks so Allison, much, I think panel. she's also going to, I think she's going to also need to put someone from her inner circle in there. She's going to have to send someone from her inner circle to oversee that school. Great idea. All right, guys, uh, stick around. Thank you, panel. We'll check back in. Meanwhile.